and welcome to the Sturgeon Bay Fire Department. I'm Assistant Fire Chief Kaylin Montevideo and I'm here with my friend Sparky the Fire Dog and we want to talk to you about the sounds of fire safety and what to do in the event of a fire. So what do we do in the event of a fire and how do we know if there's a fire? We hear our smoke detector go off. I'm going to demonstrate what a smoke detector sounds like. If you hear that noise, that means you need to get out of the building that you're in. This doesn't mean that you should get up and run out of the building because there may be smoke in that building. If there is smoke in that building, next we're gonna demonstrate what we should be doing if we see smoke in a building. Our friend, uh, Firefighter Hansen here, is gonna come in and help us demonstrate this. As you can see, Firefighter Hansen has his full turnout gear on, meaning he has boots, pants, and a jacket. He just put on a thing that looks like a big backpack, which is filled with air. And once he puts that mask on, he's gonna look a little goofy, but don't ever be scared of him if you see a firefighter dressed like this, because we're just there to help you. But because he's putting this mask on, he'll now be able to breathe out of that backpack he's wearing. Because just like you guys, we can't breathe in a fire and smoke. Once he is all dressed in his full gear, including his helmet and gloves, every piece of his skin and body will be protected from smoke and fire. Next we're going to bring in two other helpers. We have Lieutenant Brett Wiegand and Firefighter Mike Pay. And they have a white sheet. And what this white sheet is demonstrating is smoke. So when smoke starts, it's going to start high up at the ceiling and slowly come down. And that gives us a little time to get out of our house. So pretend that the white sheet is the smoke and our firefighter and Sparky are crawling underneath the smoke. Once they've gotten through the house and outside, they can stand up and go to their meeting places. Everybody should have a meeting place for their family so you know that everybody is out of the house. Now, what do we do in the event of our clothes catching on fire and we didn't get away from the fire? Sparky here is gonna demonstrate stop, drop, and roll, which I'm sure you've all heard of before. So if Sparky's clothes have caught on fire, he's gonna stop where he's at, he's gonna drop to the floor, he's gonna get nice and long, he's gonna cover his face to protect it, and he's gonna roll back and forth. And this is gonna put the fire out. Nice job, Sparky. So we hope this video has helped you a little bit with fire safety and what to do in the event of a fire. And we hope that you go home and practice a escape drill with your family and teach them about the fire safety you learned today.